Right. Um, I set the pen size to 2 so that those, um, those thin lines are thin white lines are not seen in my graphics. So there's also one set of code block that I added. I set the X and Y to this these location these locations. So which means if I put it up here, I mean when I start this code, it automatically it's it automatically goes up here and begins to draw these octagons. And I also changed one more thing with my code is rather than changing the pen color by 10 I am gradually changing it by 1 and as you see the color is gradually changing I am now going to play this codes now so started off with a blue color and the color changes here changing the pen color by 1 and changing the size by negative 1 the octagon gets smaller and smaller and I will have 100 octagons drawn and remember as you see my x is constantly changing by 0.5 which means the cat is moving horizontally right 0.5 and change y by negative 1.1 i'm making the sprite or my cat move negative 1.1 which means the y it's going down so pretty much it's traveling in that direction there in this direction as you see and it keeps drawing the octagons. Now if I go all together again, restart my code, it picks up that color where it left from and continues from that color. So as you see, the colors, color could be seen and the color changes eventually. And finally, it goes and completes the octagon. There's one more thing that we could do. So we've used repeat eight times for drawing one octagon we used repeat 100 which means it goes and draws 100 octagons but there's one more thing that we could do we could simply say we'll put the clear up here on the top and we would say here actually after it goes to this location we will say clear and pin down and said repeat 100 now I'm going to add one more nested loop. This time I am going to say forever. So forever what? Forever, go to that location and do this, which means after drawing 100 octagons, my cat would go straight jumping up here again repeats the same process and this time it would never stop so first of all the first repeat eight is for the eight sides and the second repeat hundred the outer repeat hundred is for drawing hundred octagons and forever this continues forever let's go check this out keeps going it started off from here, it went to that point, began its repeat 100 and started off from this point, repeated, it's now in forever loop, it's, it repeated, it's now repeating 100 times, it's changing X and Y, it's repeating 8 times each time. Now, we have to see it jumped all the way from here to here again. There's one problem that is seen. We got to set two things. Number one. So when it goes, go to, as it says, when it says, go to negative 79 and 80. Before that, I'll put a pen down here and I will say here, pen up. So I would say, pen up and jump over here. And look at the size. It is changing by negative 1 so after 1 it becomes negative 2 negative 3 so instead what we should say here we got to get rid of this set size to 100 and we got to put it down here and hopefully we will achieve what we wanted to let's check this out so it went in drew the green color and is drawing the octagon forever 
what we're trying to see is the nested loops we're looking at the forever loop we're looking at the repeat hundred and we're looking at the repeat eight repeat eight's working perfectly fine because each time it's it is drawing an octagon repeat hundred we will see if it's perfect or not it has drawn the last octagon here and it went all the way up and forever is working because after drawing 100 octagons it again restarted and started to draw its 100 octagons again so the process keeps repeating forever and the cat keeps drawing its octagon forever so that is about the nested loops we use the forever we use the repeat 100 we use the repeat 8 and you can keep changing things all right i'll wait for this cat to go till the end and until the size becomes zero and again the size became 100 and keeps going i'm going to stop this i better go and save this because i really like the pattern i'll say save i would say octagon pattern right i saved that one there now we will go back again to the control so we looked at forever we looked at nested repeat now we're going to look at broadcast and we're also going to look at broadcast and wait and let us see for example here i am going to get rid of the whole of these codes here and i would simply say clear and pin up excellent we have this cat here i would say when clicked or i would say delete that when the space key is pressed i would say broadcast and last new so this cat is going to broadcast something i'll cancel first actually go get a random new sprite and this guy here i just put a random sprite here so we got this cat selected when the space key is pressed broadcast key we can give any name you can give any message name i'll say message so the cat is broadcasting message so this when it's broadcasting something which means it is giving some information to the sprites and all of these sprites will receive that information so i would say here sprite 2 then i receive message when i receive message i would say looks and he would say got the got the message for two seconds or rather we can just say one second we'll go back to the cat here so the, when you press the space key cat is going to broadcast the message and sprite 2 will receive a message when, a rece when it receives the message it says got the message so let us see how this is going to work the first bitch i will have to go press the space bar and as you see here this part is saying got the message got the message got the message and same thing can happen to sprite 2 we could say when the sprite 2 we would say when i would say left arrow is pressed or when a is when a key is pressed we can make this sprite sprite 2 to broadcast a new message to cat right so it's going to say cat when i press a it's going to broadcast a message to all the sprites but there's only one sprite here and that's the cat and what would be the response from the cat when i receive k 
cat. When I receive cat, I would say go to uh, yes, I would actually say go to a random number of x negative 220 to positive 220. Don't worry about this code. I, I'll go and talk about this later. That will be your x and your y will be negative 150 to positive 150. So when I receive cat, the cat moves away. And here, rather than when a key is pressed, I would say, yeah, I would say that. When I press A, this broadcasts cat. And when cat receives this message, when I receive cat, it goes to a random location. So let's check this out. So when I press the space bar, the cat is giving the message. I, have, I will test that. I press the space bar, and the guy is saying, Sprite 2 is saying, got the message. Cat is giving the message, and then this Sprite, sprite 2 is saying, got the message. But when I press A, Look at that, cat keeps changing its x and y positions. So when I press the when I press the A button, it is saying it's giving a message to the cat. And what is that message? When I re, when it receives the message cat, the x position and y position for the cat is changing. But instead I do not want this to happen straight away. I would want to give some time. I would say broadcast cat and wait. Pretty much the same effect here. And it's broadcasting and waiting for receiving a message. I would say again A. I'll press the space, got the message, it says got the message, which means when you press the space bar, the cat is sending the message, when you press the A key, Sprite 2 is giving a message, and accordingly, the actions are performed. That's about broadcast, and when I receive. I'll delete this codes, delete, and I'll delete these codes here and we can experiment with a new code forever if now forever do things forever if say for example direction is 90 I will say whenever there's a if there'll be an operator needs to be used these are the operators that you can use all right these are the operators that you can use i would say i'll just use the equal to operator here so forever if i would say i would use the x position i would go here to motion if x position rather than equal to, I will say, if x position is less than zero, do this, watch, move forward, move 10 steps. It keeps moving if x position is less than zero. But once x position becomes greater than zero, this loop will get terminated. So it stops. Because the x position changed by 7. So as soon as it went past 0, because I'm saying move 10 steps, instead I'll say just one step now. I'll leave it forever if x position is less than 0. Move one steps. So now when you do not know actual use of it, I don't know how many repeats I should use to make this cat move from here to 0. At that time, I'll say, okay, do this forever. 
until the exposition becomes zero, 